What's up, YouTube? Six Channel Eight here, and I guess you came here to see the Rochester Americans. Oh, fat pack. Oh, sorry about that. To be honest, if you're thinking that um, a lot of people have been saying it, but they've been commenting privately saying that I don't actually get the stickers for free or the fan packs. Trust me, I get these fan packs. Honestly, the Houston National one, I'm not even a Houston fan, so yeah, I actually got the fan pack. And you can actually look at other people's fan packs for Houston Astros. They actually sent that stuff. Rochester Americans, trust me, I'm not really, I don't even watch the AHL. I do watch the NHL, but not the AHL. And there is actually no team in the state that I live in. So, please don't be cruel or anything because trust me, I'm actually, actually do. Okay. I, I'll, I'll even put up a video of me doing it. Me unpackaging it like other people, but I don't like doing it because right when I get the mail I like to open it up. I don't like to turn on the computer, press upload, all that we just waste time. And I really am into this stuff. Right? So let's get started now. See I just wasted a whole two minute and a half forty seconds just on that. So let's get started. Rochester Americans, they sent me this pretty cool Page. It's kind of a, it's basically a card, but it's a, just a nice page of it. Of uh, Scott Nickel, I think that's his name. He was a forward from 1994 to 2000. He was the, not, not in 1996, he was the Calder Cup champion. And yeah, that's pretty cool. On the back is just plain white, so yeah, that was him. Next thing they showed me are they gave me our four pocket schedules that are pretty cool. So uh, I'll open it up for you, but I like to open it up like for you. They're all the same. When I opened it up, I got kind of surprised because you don't because it's really small, but still pretty cool. So on the front page, it shows this. I don't know. I'll like show you slide, slide by side, page by page. And then on the back, they show you the schedule. And actually, I uh, see over here, it actually usually on some pocket schedules, they don't do um, ticket pricings. But they actually show the ticket pricing. I don't know if you can see it. Let me put it closer to the camera. See it? Or not. It might be a little blurry because my computer is not the best in the world, but it is a pretty good computer. On the laptop. Alright, so, uh, last thing that they sent me is a big and very nice yearbook. I actually barely got this yesterday. I came back from the soccer field. And no one checked the mail on Saturday. So I go get the mail. And I got five packs. Three three sticker packs and two um two fan packs. So I got really excited because um the Houston Astros and the Americans were actually my first two fan packs I've ever gotten. So I that was I was that was pretty cool. But the people that actually sent me these are Matt James and D Nuggets 33 I'll actually put the names down below I don't know how to make a link if someone can tell me then that would be awesome then I'll make a link for you guys then I'll make a link for you guys on their channel so um yeah I have their link and names below so it's the uh, I'll open this book up and I'll show you a few pages so as you can see it's the yearbook on the first page it showed us the pocket schedule and they actually gave us a schedule on the yearbook too. So that was pretty cool. Let me check for the other cool pages. Another one that they did is the the big one. And the pricing is there. Stadium pricing. Also gave you the season ticket pricing. It's really cheap. 
And this page shows up a nice letter from the President, Chief Executive Officer of the AHL. And on this page, it shows the Rochester Americans um, hockey department, all the coaches and managers and everything, which is pretty cool. And then we're gonna s then they start with the photos, the yearbook. So they will say the name down below and the number. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna show like a paragraph, I guess, about them. And then, oh, this is cool. He was born in San Diego, California. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you what. His birthday was May 7, 1990. His height is 5'11. His weight is 181. He shoots the right. Yeah, it shows cool facts about him right here. And there's this one page, all the way somewhere in the back that was pretty cool. Here's one of the really cool things. It shows all of the Hall of Famers that are from Rochester American. Their Hall of Fame. The Rochester. Hall of Fame, that's pretty cool. And the last page that I'm going to show you is this really cool page. It shows where all the teams are made, I mean, where all the teams are from, and it's really, really cool to be honest. So, um, yeah, that is it for Rochester Americans. But it is really, really cool to me. I'm actually going to look up. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to show you right now. Rochester Americans. I do not know if you can see it. It's right, where is it? right here. And the line goes all the way down to right here. Sorry, I don't think you can see that. I don't really have very gentle hands. But that's it for today. So. I'm gonna go for a recap right quick. They sent me a cure book. They sent me a Scott Nickel page. There's nothing on the back. Add four pocket schedules. Uh, I do like to trade. I'm joking, JK. I don't know, trade with people. But if you have any questions or comments, like where did I get these, how did I do it, just uh, all I did was email them or I went to their page and contacted them. But uh, it's pretty cool and um, it's really, really easy. And yeah. And by the way, if you have really any question you have for me, if you want me to do any videos, I'll be willing to do it for you guys. But uh, I don't want to do any this person. I don't know the name. I'm not gonna say the name. Actually, I know it. Asked me privately question. Actually, I'm willing to do private questions. Okay, guys. In case you guys like are embarrassed to say, they sent me to do. They told me to do some dares. I'll do dares. I'll do a dare challenge with my brother. But. They sent me cinnamon challenge and all those things. And guys, no, that can like cinnamon challenge is very bad for you. So uh, I'm willing to do the dance, but not the stupid ones, please. Not those dumb and stupid ones. Oh, do the cinnamon challenge. Oh, why don't you um s sniff someone's leg? I'll do that. Okay, just n not the other one. Okay. Yeah, just please comment and please subscribe. Sorry, I didn't know they were rid of thing right now. Oh my gosh, I thought I already finished it off with Cody. Sorry about that. That was pretty embarrassing. Um, but make sure that... If you want me to do any videos, 
I'd be more than welcome to do it, to be honest. But like I said again, yes, I'll do Daredevil to shoot their dares, but no stupid dares. Okay? So, peace.